I hope you guys doing fine. I hope you're doing wonderful. This is a continuous bullish case for the dollar. Even though we had a big, big value destruction this this week, but it it is irrelevant to me. We focus on the chat. I hope you guys doing fine. I hope you doing wonderful. So I'm gonna I'm gonna discuss today uh, the UUP, the ETF for for USD. I'm gonna discuss uh, Bear Gold, TLT in different time frame, GEDX, Newmont, and the best is yet to come for you, Almighty Gold. So let's start with this thesis in uh, the bearish dollar. So this is the dollar, which is a, when I say UUP, it's a dollar. So please remember that. So this is the UUP, uh, this is the weekly time frame, And I ran a back testing on this signal and it's extremely, extremely, uh, very, very valid. Every time in a weekly time frame, the stochastic goes below 80, uh, a price retracement takes place up to 7%. The least is 2.5%. It's never been that gold will be destroyed and go in meltdown mode when this bad boy in this formation. So if you look at every one of them, gold rallied. Feb, uh, Feb 24th, it was the bottom it was the bottom of gold. No, wait, no, they're right here, sorry. March 23rd was the bottom of gold. Here, October 19th, the uh, gold was bottom, and the ultimate bottom was in November. Here, June uh, 29th, uh, gold bottomed. Ju oh, sorry, June 2019, gold bottomed and, and had an epic rally. Here, Feb. Uh, where, where are we now? Yeah, December, it's uh, Christmas Day, almost 25th. Yeah, we, we didn't have uh, we didn't have market that day, but uh, gold went in a rally. Okay, let's see. September, August to September, uh, gold was bottoming. It was going down, but it was not. It was not. Yeah, it was. It was going down but we bottomed here it was through the bottom process so no more meltdown december november uh, november 13th gold was going down and here we bottomed same here so on and so forth so based on this assumption Gold never goes into meltdown mode whenever this formation is, is taking place. This formation always takes the price of dollar down. It happened 100% of the time in the past. So do I believe in it? Absolutely. I will believe in it. It's better than believing in nothing. So that's the first thesis right here. UUP in the weekly time frame. So let's look at... UUP in the daily time frame. So what happened today? Okay. The sellers gather every time the price action goes to a seller's territory, they sell it. Now we are at the 38 Feb retracement from this high to this low. So this is a seller's territory. It was seller's territory two days ago, yesterday and today. So we are in seller's territory in the daily time frame and this is the updated uh, this is the actual dxy but we discussed that in the uup so no need for yes okay so let's look at bear gold another assumption bear gold which is the second biggest uh, gold mining company in the world every time the price action in the weekly it's the opposite of the uup or the dollar Every time uh, the price, uh, the, the stochastic comes out of order sold in the weekly time frame, a bull leg follows. What's the percentage? 100% of the time. So it's a mirror image of the dollar. So 100% of the time, this happens. 
Do I believe in that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, why not? Why do I have to just panic? Why do I have to panic and hate myself when, when I can just read the chart? So at least we're going to have relief from the value destruction. So the second biggest company, gold mining company in the world, Bear Gold, gave us a, a, a buy signal in the weekly time frame that has 100% success rate in the past. Let's look at TLT. TLT. So this is the four hour time frame. Uh, and I tweeted this, uh, the power of the hammer, an inverted hammer right here. And what happened? Boom. And boom, boom. I tweeted this before this thing happened. So now what, what do we have in the four hour time? We have a bullish Rami that needs confirmation, but it has almost, it has a better, a higher low. So that's definitely a bullish in the four hour time frame. Okay. So do we, do we forget about that? Absolutely not. Good deal. So now I uh, talked about TLT in the four hour time frame. I'm going up with that. So another four hour time frame for TLT. So this one also discusses the relationship between the price action, the four hour time frame, and stochastic. Every time you have a bullish divergence, price expands the upside. The least is 3%. The highest is 4.5%. Okay? And also, you have the multiple kiss I talked about, kiss, and this is the real one. We are in bullish mode in the MACD. So this suggests higher prices to come in the four hour time frame based on uh, the bullish Harami I talked about right here, and also the bullish divergence with the MACD. So we discussed the four hour time frame. This is the daily time frame. And I tweeted, as I tweeted before, uh, some people just, just play with trend lines and forget about the deeper picture sometimes. So uh, a, a guy with thousands of followers just draw a trend line right here and it was broken. It was really broken here. And he said, uh, the, the, now TLT will go down. It's over. But it's not over. Now we are on a symmetrical triangle. Now, this, this formation is a continuation uh, pattern. So you have low, higher low, high, higher high, and so on and so forth. That means uptrend. So we're uptrending, symmetrical triangle, and we hit the, high, the upper end uh, of this trend line. And now we're in this bearish Harami. We're in bearish Harami in, in the daily time frame. Uh, but, uh, but still, the formation is bullish. So maybe... In, in, in five trading days, we break out of this uh, continuation pattern. So four hours, uh, bullish, uh, one uh, daily is bearish in the, in the Japanese candles, yet the, ja the pattern is still bullish. So let's talk about TLT in the weekly time frame. This is extremely obvious right here. So you have an impulsive move and a correction. And usually this is a con continuation and it's absolutely perfect. The, the, the triangle, it's a, the symmetrical triangle is extremely perfect. And also in addition to that, a gold never uh, collapse and go in meltdown mode while you have bullish formation and uh, TLT, which means if it goes up, yellow, uh, yellow, <laughs> lower yields will follow, which means higher higher gold and lower dollar. So what's going on for gold so far? Uh, bearish formation in the DXY and the, the weekly time frame that worked 100% of the time. Uh, bu bullish formation in, in uh, bear gold in the, in the weekly time frame, which, uh, which was 100% of the time in the past. And uh, uh, bullishness in TLT in the weekly and, uh, and also in the four hour time frame. Good deal. So let's look up. Let's talk about GDX, which is the ETF for uh, for gold. So uh, uh, this I call uh, the three and a half to five percent uh, rule for, for GDX. You must go down in one day, not in a week, in one day, almost four to five percent to change direction. Okay, this happened hundred percent of the time. It happened here, so we met this rule of this change of direction. So we had the 4% one day, 
So now we're changing direction. Are we uptrending? Well, we have a low, higher low, and higher high, and equal low now. If we have higher low, we will have low, higher low, higher high, and higher low, and hopefully higher high. So we're working on it now. So uh, what's the success rate of this thing in the past? 100%. This move must, uh, the three and a half to five, let's, let's call it 5% rule just, just to be fast, even though it's three and a half. So it has to be one day and, and, and the continuation starts. It happened here when you change direction 5%. It happens here almost 4%. It happens here at four and a half percent. And happen, these are changing directions. Up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. And we still end up and up into the X. So I hope this rule is obvious and clear. Good deal. I discovered this a long time ago, and I still stick to it. I like to, I like to stick to my own rules, okay? Uh, I don't follow anybody. But I look at the patterns, and I discover them, and I stick to them. Good deal. So this is GDX in the daily time frame. And usually, what we want to have, you want to have, when you change direction, you want to have a high volume, and, and lighter volume in the down days. So you have here, high volumes and up days. It's right here, it's very obvious. And lower volume in the down days before you take off. What happened with this value destruction? Up volume, when you change direction, with the 4% we talked about. And now we have a, a lower volume relative to up volume. So this is extreme, this is obvious. So this is a classic way of accumulation and, 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 and not people not throwing the towel. So who sold here? Smarter people than me. I'm not that smart, I'm sorry. But uh, I think who sold here, they, they were lucky. Uh, they assumed that gold topped at 1830. Uh, they took a chance and they were smart and lucky. Yet we're not unlucky because I believe we're gonna go up. So. So uh, I think the market did not help us with this value destruction. Uh, the market really, w really went down severely. Uh, and it's caught us by surprise, but uh, no regrets at all. We're still, we're still, I'm still, I really am still very hopeful and very optimistic and very confident. Good deal. So this is the kiss effect I talked about in LinkedIn. Uh, this uh, uh, GDX is very close to that kiss effect, which is uh, the MACD goes into uh, bullish mode, then get close to, to bearish mode, then reverses. This happened here and reversed. Happened here and reversed. It happened here and reversed. It happened here and reversed. It happens a lot of times. So. Uh, it's not my own rule. It's a, a lot of MACD uh, traders do, you, you use that anyway. So I have, to, I, have to, I have to be honest. I hate lying. So this, this very one is not my own rule. It's, it, it's a MACD people rule. So kiss and go. All right. So let's talk about Newmont, the biggest, uh, the biggest gold mining company in the world. Okay. So uh, Newmont's the same thing. You have a high volume and up days since that change of direction, an extreme low volume, dried up volume. This is all, always, as I said, sign of healthy uptrend. Up. So you have a low, high, higher low, higher high, higher high. And now we still have an equal low, but this one here. So if we reverse, we have a low, higher low, and a higher low, okay? So uh, even if you don't believe in technical analysis, if you believe, you must believe in volume. So less people are selling, simple as that. Okay, good deal. And amazingly, uh, I think the buyers are very relaxed, very smart, smarter than me, smarter than all of us. So they are really gathering in, uh, in, in the demand zone. They've been gathering at the trend line and, and, and this old price memory and these Fibonacci retracements. And believe it or not, after, after that severe uh, value destruction for Newmont, it's still in breakout mode. I like the maples. So we're still in breakout mode in, in, 
in the bullish wedge okay so in conclusion uh, am i scared am i having second thoughts absolutely not why let me recap bearish uh, bearish action in the weekly time from uh, time frame for dxy that happened 100 percent of the time bullish action in gold uh in, in bear gold gold the second biggest uh, gold mining company in the world in the weekly time frame bullish action in the weekly time frame for tlt in a four hour time frame time frame uh accumulation signs in gdx accumulation signs in newmont please like if you like and uh, share and do remember that disco is forever